Speaker, the Minister of Finance is living in la la land. Either he doesn't know what to do about out migration or he doesn't care. Over the past five years, StatsCan tells us that Winnipeg has lost 11,000 people, most of them to Calgary and Edmonton. Well, let me give the Minister a hint. They're leaving because of lower taxes, they're leaving because of more opportunity, and they're leaving because there's a, biz a friendly business environment. If the Minister ever wants to become leader, now is the time to show leadership. <laughs> Will he fix our punishing tax regime? The Honourable Minister of Finance. You don't need any advice on leadership. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, uh, I appreciate the question on taxes from the members opposite because I thought the members opposite were going dangerously over the line on their spending requests in the last week. They've asked for new schools in South Winnipeg. They've asked for new highways all over southern Manitoba. They've asked for new hospital facilities all over southern Manitoba. So I'm so glad the member from Brandon West is bringing a little balance to the caucus. And he will know that on January 1st, the basic exemption will go up, the small business tax rate will go down, the corporate tax rate will go down, and the personal income tax rate will go down. And it will be a very Merry Christmas for everybody because of that. The Honourable Member for Brandon West. And the Minister of Finance, Mr. Speaker, will also know what those little tinklings of, 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 of excess in our tax regime that we're still going to fall so far behind Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. People are still going to leave in droves from this province. Mr. Speaker, right now, head office employment has decreased by 7 percent, and perhaps, Mr. Speaker, it might have something to do with payroll tax. Private sector employment has fallen well behind the Canadian average. The private sector is what makes the economic wheel go round, Mr. Speaker, but our public sector is growing by leaps and bounds. That is unsustainable. Why is the minister so reluctant to accept that there is a problem, and when will he live up to his responsibility Order. as finance minister and fix the deplorable tax regime and increase it to at least the levels of Saskatchewan? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, he always... The fact of the matter is, our property taxes in Manitoba are $400 million less than comparable taxes in Saskatchewan. Our small business rate is less than those in Saskatchewan. Our graduate, our graduate tuition tax rebate program means a young person earning up to $50,000 in Manitoba has the lowest taxes of anybody in Canada. The member opposite knows all of these facts. The member opposite knows all of these facts because they were explained to him during the estimates process. If anybody's living in a state of denial, it's the member from Brandon West, Mr. Speaker.